All right, guys. The voice cut out on those scriptures, so I'm going to reread them again. Uh, Ephesians 3.11, according to the eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amos 3.7, surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophets. Then let's go to... Luke 9, 11, but when the multitudes knew it, they followed him and he received them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who had need of healing. Numbers 23, 22, God brings them out of Egypt. He has strength like a wild ox. Luke 22, 23, then they began to question among themselves which of them it was who would do this thing. Matthew eleven twenty two. But I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyr and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. Exodus twenty two, excuse me. Exodus twenty three twenty two. But if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. Woohoo! Okay, Revelation twenty two three. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servant shall serve him. Proverbs 11.3, the integrity of the upright will guide them, but the perversity and the unfaithful will destroy them. Matthew 22.3, and sent out his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding, and they were not willing to come. And Mark 2.22, and no one puts new wine in old wineskins, or else the new wine bursts, the wineskins, the wine is spilled, and the wineskins are ruined. But new wine must be put into new wineskins. That is it, guys. Jesus is coming. Repent and ask him to come into your heart. He loves you, guys. It's a warning. Wake up. He's coming. You are saved by grace. He loves you by his mercy and his grace, guys. Repent. Ask him to come into your heart. Make him your Lord and Savior. Love you. God bless.